For this post, we will be using a simple and common EQ setting to examine saving presets and effects chains. Click on the FX button on a track in the project window or on a track in the mixer to show the track's FX window. For this example, we will be using re-EQ, so with all plugins highlighted, type re-EQ into the filter to show it as an addable VST in the side panel. You can also add effects under their type, category, or developer name if you want to poke around and see what is available on your computer. There are several ways to add the effect to your track, all with the same outcome. You can highlight the name and click Add. You can double click the effect in the side panel or you can right click it and select Add to Track 1 in this case. In Re-EQ, you can easily add as many bands as you would like by clicking Add Band. But for this example, we will use the Remove Band so that we only have two bands showing. Select Band 1 and set it to High Pass. Then set the frequency to 20 Hz. Select Band 2 and set it to Low Pass. Then set its frequency to 20,000 Hz. By clicking the plus sign, you can save your changes as a preset that you can then recall whenever you open Re-EQ. You can also save it, along with all other effects added to the track, as an FX chain. To do this, go to the FX menu and select Save FX Chain. Give it a name that is meaningful and descriptive to you and then click Save. The advantage to saving your commonly used settings and combination of effects as an FX chain is that it will then show up in the track FX window as an effect you can add directly to your track, potentially saving time and simplifying the process of adding the same thing to multiple tracks. For example, when editing my voiceovers, I have a specific chain for my voice with this microphone. I click Add, I go to FX Chain, and there it is, Jeff's voice with RE20. As always, spend time right-clicking things to see the many possibilities in Reaper.